We're going to look at the serratus anterior plane block now. Um, a great abdominal wall block. It's quite a straightforward block to do to, to visualize our anatomy. I have my patient supine. I've abducted his arm behind his head, which gives me a little bit more scanning space. If this isn't possible because of polytrauma for whatever reason, it's fine to have the arm running down the side of the patient and just manipulate our probe accordingly. We're basically going to look um, at the T5 level, mid-axillary line, and we're going to place our probe on. Now, if we start more anterior, anterior we're going to see our, our pectoralis muscles. But we're going to start and we're going to visualize a rib. We can see our pleura and we can see our serratus muscle running across the top of our rib there. We want to start to scan posteriorly, and what we will see in the top right-hand corner on the posterior end of the probe is our latissimus dorsi muscle coming into view. So it looks like a wedge driving itself into that screen there. If we use color Doppler, we could see that we've got some little vessels there. These are little branches of the thoracodorsal artery. So it's very, very careful to look out for those. I'm going to turn on virtual convex on this machine, which is going to give me a slightly wider field of view. So it's going to give me almost a curvilinear view from my high frequency linear probe, which is a very nice touch on this machine and gives us a wider scanning image. So we can see two little vessels inside there. My needle entry point is going to be from the anterior side of the probe, so coming in above my probe, and I want to put my needle into the fascial plane below latissimus dorsi, above serratus anterior. Now if we enter at this anterior portion of the muscle, we can then use hydrodissection to guide our way around. The best way to perform this block is to try and get some posterior spread, so we're going to carry on scanning posteriorly. Now we can see that our muscle dips anatomically on the posterior end of the probe. A little tip is to apply some anterior pressure to this probe, which is going to level that muscle up. Now if we use a 10 centimeter needle for this, uh, for this block, we can insert that needle from our entry point as far posterior as we can to get spread between those two muscles and open up those planes. So again, anatomy-wise, we're going to see rib, we can see two ribs on this screen, pleura, serratus anterior muscle, latissimus dorsi, and those little branches of the thoracodorsal arteries.